And tonight, I am here at the Petron, and uh, I'm on the, oh my goodness, I'm gonna mess this up. It's T-P-L-E-X, T-Plex, I think it's called. Anyway, so this is the first uh, sort of service station lay-by type situation that you come across when you're headed from the north. And I thought, thought it would be a really good idea for me to give you an idea of what it's like here. You've got very friendly staff all waiting to uh, fill your car, clean your windshield, etc. Um, there's a full service station, as you can see. There is also a San Mig Food Avenue, and that's about it. Like, this is one of those places that knows what it does and it does it well. It doesn't have like a billion stores or anything like that, but it does have restrooms available for anyone who comes by and, uh, you know, other things. Let's uh, take a look around. Next clip. If you take a look right across on the other side of the highway, you'll see a place almost exactly like this. So if you see this area and you're traveling north on uh, T-Plex, you will know that this is the last gas station before you exit T-Plex. All right, cool. Next clip. Oh, now this is cool. Right behind the gas station here, right behind the Petron, you can see that this is a bunch of rice fields. Oh, that is cool. Oh my goodness. And they're in various levels of groaningness. And tonight we are now on SC Tex, and uh, I wanted to let you know what was here at this stop. Uh, as you can see, there is a city mall. Uh, there's also a Mang Inasau, Red Ribbon, Highlands Coffee, Shakey's, 7-Eleven. There's a Jollibee drive through Chow King, Sea Oil, as you probably saw earlier, and uh, Teresa's Pasaluba. Ooh, look at that, Shakey's Pizza. Let's see what else isn't on the sign. Ooh, here's something that wasn't on the sign. We've got a juice factory. We've got a Toilets Sports Plaza, Potato Corner, a camp jump that looks like it may be closed, maybe temporarily, maybe not. I don't really know what this is. There's the sign for it. Handcrafted shoes. That's something I'm gonna miss when I leave the Philippines, the ability to just get shoes custom made. Can't really, I mean, you could do it in the States, but it costs some big money. Looks like that's about it, unless I miss something. Next clip. And because I know this will matter to some people, there is even a designated smoking area. It's kind of small, but it does what it's got to do. Very cool. Next clip. And for those curious, the City Mall, which is here, is open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. I may have also neglected to mention that they have a giant Santa Claus outside to celebrate Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Next clip. And tonight, here we are at the next stop, I believe, and I could be wrong here. This is the second stop on NLEX. No, wait, this is the first stop on NLEX, going from north to south. Look at this, they have a Jollibee. I don't know why I say Jollibee that way, but I just do. Another amazing thing that they have at this particular stop, they have a Max's chicken and a Krispy Kreme. Over there, they've also got a Tapa King and a Hen Lin. Very soon, they're gonna have a Banchan. They've got something called Hap Chan. I don't know what that is. I've never, never experienced that one. The Shell Select that they have is more or less a convenience store, kind of like a, uh, uh, like a 7-Eleven. Let's see what else they have here on the Propertoire. Hello, Kuya. We've got a Wendy's. That's amazing. That's not on the sign. Cafe Express. We've got a Pancake House. As I mentioned previously, we've got a dead old cab. Let's see what else they've got here before we go and eat. Looks like they've got public restrooms right over there. That's that yellow and red sign in the background. They've got kiosks so you can quench your thirst. And look at that Wendy's, look at that burger. Looks like another, I don't know, kind of like a mini stop or something like that. Ah, there we go, there's a potato corner. And it looks like that's about it, unless I have missed something. Nope, there's a back entrance to all of the stores previously listed. And then here's Hap Chan. You know, I've never been here. Let's do it. 
So that's something kind of interesting. I kind of assumed that the restaurant would have a CR. Apparently they don't. So while I'm waiting on my food, I'm gonna go over here to the CR. Woo! I feel much, much better. Seems the bathrooms here are fairly clean and kind of got a little bit of a chlorine bleach smell to them. But hey, that just means they're clean. So I'm good with that. Next clip. And tonight, we are at the next stop on the NLEX tour. We are at the Caltex Mega Station. So the reason this is a mega station is because it has everything. Not only do they have a mechanic on duty 24 seven, they've got a 7-Eleven, they've got a KFC, they've got a Nike factory store, they have a Kenny Rogers Roasters, they have a fashion stop, an Adidas or Adidas store, depending on what part of the world you're in and how you pronounce that. They've got a Cafe Prant, they've got a Raptor, they've got a Chow King. What else do they have? They have a Razons, they have a Bubusuk. What the hell is a bubusu? And an awesome fountain! Oh my goodness! They've got random birds. You know, because everybody needs random birds sometimes. They've got a store called Premium Outlets. They've got this store here, which sells sports memorabilia and t-shirts and whatnot, I think. LA Classic Designs! And various other miscellaneous kiosks to serve all of your miscellaneous pasalubong, which means gifts you give to people after travel or something like that. They got a shawarma house and a really big Christmas tree. Whoa. For those of you who care, they have a designated smoking area where you can smoke your designated. Shiz, shiz, shiz. These shiz rule. These shiz suck. These shiz rule. These shiz suck. That's a reference to an old viral YouTube video. If you didn't get it, don't feel bad. It like took me a minute to even think of that. That seems like just about everything at this stop. Let's see what's at the next one. We're running out of daylight. So if there are more, I may stop doing this after dark. Let's see how it goes. Next clip. And tonight, I think this is the last sort of rest stop or um, kind of, I don't know what the what these are called here, but in the US we, we kind of have stuff like this. Sometimes they're called rest stops. Sometimes they're just called stopovers. I don't know. This is the Shell of Asia stop. The sign up there lets us know that we've got a Shell, a Starbucks, a Chow King, an Adidas, a Puma outlet, and probably some stuff that we can't even see because of trees. I'm telling you, those trees, they're, they're bad news. Looking around, we see all kinds of stuff. Chow King is really well advertised. Ooh, Mr. Moo's Fresh Milk. Let's see what else they got. Mm, bathroom, restroom, or CR, depending on where you're from. A fusion outlet for all of your shoe buying needs. Oh, and would you look at this? Very stylish shirts and shorts. Hmm. Over here, we have Ambula. We also have a Starbucks right over here. Hey, would you look at this? A Christmas tree. Ooh, I found my home. Here's the food hall. We got a potato corner. We've also got, let's see, what is it? Yaming Bukid. I'm not even gonna pretend I pronounced that right. Lagin Bagong Luto. No, no idea. Ooh, Jicharom. Yummy. Takoyaki. And the shawarma house. I do love some shawarma. Hey, it's like a little fountain thingy. They do have a designated smoking area for all of your needs for smoking your designated. Wait, I already made that joke. I can't make it again. Darn it. Ooh, a nacho king. He might be my king, but he's definitely nacho king. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to dispose off your cigarette butts properly. Thank you. Looks like we uh, just saw all the things. Let me know what you think down below. I'm gonna keep a lookout to see if there are any more. All right, look, I'm not even gonna pretend to understand this, but two kilometers after the last one is this one. Seriously, how many of these things do we need? 
This one um, has, and this one was a Petron, and also um, they had a Subway. That's pretty much the only thing that made it special. Well, that's the video for today. I hope this video has been helpful for you or at least meant something to you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. If I got anything wrong, if I got anything right, be sure to let me know. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you'd like to watch more content, that's on screen now. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can find a Patreon link at the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Next vlog?